what's up guys okay the edits award was yesterday but before i get right into the news let me quickly wish these people happy birthday okay i'm wishing zainab mohammed happy belated birthday okay your birthday was on the 4th of may and for lasha they promise for lasha they promise and adiyeye happy birthday in advance to you guys okay your birthday is on tuesday at uh, 8th of may okay i was about to say in april there a lot happened during the weekend i was able to watch the eddies and stuff so guys without further ado let us get right into the news First, let me give you guys the list of winners of the award ceremony yesterday organized by Edis. <laughs> okay, best recording of the year is Jomi by Simi. Um, best R&B single, Smile For Me, Simi. Album of the year, Simi. Best pop single, If by Davido. Artist of the year, Davido. Song of the year, If Davido. Next rated, May Yokun Best Music Video Come Closer Whiskey Daps Best R&B Pop Album of the Year Sound from the Other Side Whiskey Viewers Choice Award Whiskey Best Collabo Malo Tiwa Savage featuring Whiskey Producer of the Year Key Dominant He was the one who put this fall and my mind so he was given an award for that Best Rap Album El Hajj Reminis Best Single Rap Award M.I. Abaga Hip Hop World Revelation Ricardo Banks Best Street Hip Hop Artist Small Doctor Best Performer Yemi Aladi Best Reggae Dancer Single Oli Oli Tubaba Rookie Award Tenny Best Alternative Song Aramide Best African Act Nasty C So congratulations to all the winners Um, Now what do you guys think? Do you think that those people deserve the award? If you have like anything to say, let me know in the comment section below. Do you agree or disagree? It was streamed live on their page yesterday. I was checking out the comments, you know. <laughs> I was there, you had to check out comments. Different views, different opinions in the comment section on their page. Why the award ceremony is being streamed live. Some say the show was boring do you think this show is boring like i said let me know your thought i know some of my subscribers were watching with me then okay um let me know okay those of you that watched it online streamed online let me know do you feel the award some i know some of you complain about the advert yes i have problem with that too there was too much advert there but how would they make their money without advert seriously also that's the reason why they were able to organize the show people said the crowd is too down like the, there's no live in the crowd uh yeah they also commended this guy leg the guy that sang leg back by mr real most people said he as he is the guy that actually ginger the crowd and who performed better yesterday let me know as well who's your best performer yesterday um let's not forget that best female vocal performance people also have a problem with this or man with me his best female, best male vocal performance i don't think anyone has a problem with this praise they said it deserve it but most people have problem with omar we being given the award ghanians and nigeria can you guys believe the ghanians and nigerians were fighting in the comment section uh, is this the time to fight in the comment section <laughs> guys are you kidding me right now and the video ended the show at exactly 1 58 a.m 1 58 a.m in the morning that was when i went to bed <laughs> okay let's just say two o'clock oh, yeah 2 a.m yeah the show took us back memory lane the artists like Downfall Drivers and Zule Zoo came on stage to perform. Some fans were pissed because they felt like, you know, the show could do better, the organizers could do better. We have choreographers who came on stage to dance and mime to Whiskey song and um, Kiss Daniel's song and, you know, other artists. And people also have a problem with that. There was a lot yesterday to talk about. Others even think that, okay, maybe they don't because they don't have the money to call Whiskey to perform or Kiss Daniel to perform. That is why they had to call choreographers and also backup singers to do that for them. So. Let me know, do you think this show, the award ceremony is boring? I'm waiting for you guys. Now I want to say this, who is this guy? This guy that dressed, you know, monkey costume. I don't I don't know. This costume is very, very funny. 
if you think you know this person okay the way he walks or anything this this posture let me know that in the comment section below as well i'm just thinking who is this guy i mean i, I don't even know wherever he is some people say it's miracle <laughs> I, I don't think so miracle will never cover his face now that that is the time for him to blow he would have covered his face it's not like Vajana. okay guys david always kid and see me they were the yeah the one big yesterday doing it davido's speech they called artist out the artist that have money but couldn't help there's something i use every time i wake up we rise by lifting others everybody when they're on top of stage don't be saying they're random people i have helped them i cannot wake up every day i know that people have problems in this nigeria anything i can do i feel do i want to call out all the artists there when i get money anything i want to feel do for people do um and now he said as a nigerian and that is what he's trying to say you know he said those people on stage with him he actually helped all of them it's not like they are random people waking up every day that's i mean that is the dream that is the feeling nigeria is standing on its own so we need to help each other the way we behave here in nigeria the way, the way we act here in nigeria is way different than any other african countries in the world and any other countries in the world and that's why we need to be there for each other we can't use other people to compare ourselves using their laws using you know going to we know what we are seeing right here in nigeria so that's why we need to be different we need to come together and do things and make things happen if we don't help each other no one is going to do it for us because we know the government is the government is not working i commend the video for for that the video was so so happy like this artist you know want the next rated mayor kun won next rated congratulations to mayor kun once again That award is most cherished by upcoming artists. I want to thank God, my parents, and this guy right here. Wait, what do they say? On Twitter, I find you, man. Oh, yeah, not for Twitter. I just post some kind of videos. But I want to say thank you to the fans. That's just a short statement, but with a lot, a lot inside. Funny enough, Adekunle Gold was ignored. Yee. What happened? He has been doing well in the entertainment industry, but he was not given any awards. Some people claim that they are just biased and sentimental in all of this. That's what some critics online says. Here is someone on Twitter who says that nobody noticed they robbed Eddie's 2018. They robbed Adekunle Gold. And Adekunle replied, ah ha ha ha, no worries, see me one three four us so and they play good and see me they are dating so uh that's what he's trying to say that yeah after all my babe won i could manage that okay that is it about that um guys here we have docker's farm scene while she was about to announce whiskey as the winner of the best music video award last night now docker's farm scene says ojo what do you mean like whiskey doesn't deserve the award whatever made her to say ojo before announcing whiskey as the winner of the best music video award i don't i honestly don't know and uh, the winner is ojo baby come close flowers <laughs> moving on to the next one it's this lady one of the old shey 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 dress um is the most talked about dress online here are people's opinions online about the dress and let me warn you it's quite funny hilarious um when shey shey decides to render all the chickens featherless um someone said you can use shey shey's dress to kidnap mi you know mi is kind of short <laughs> and you will not know is there Mm -hmm. The only thing darker than Shei Shei's gown is the dye on Toby's hair. Um, we are all in 2018, but Shei Shei is already in 2030. Um, another one says Shei Shei knows her music career is dead, so she wore all black to mourn it formally. <laughs> that is very, very funny, guys. Still on yesterday's um, award show, 
here Tosi Martins. Tosi Martins is referring to Africa as a country. Um, yeah, that is funny too as well. <laughs> It's a shout out boldly that Africa is not just a country, oh, but a oh. deeply diverse and talented space. Oh. It's time for the. Uh, it's a shout out boldly that Africa is not just a country, oh, but a oh. deeply diverse and talented space. Oh. It's time for the. Okay, guys, um, that is it. Comedian Ebiyi Blast Aramidi says she can't even believe it. LOL. She probably effed for the award. Hashtag Eris. What do you mean? You mean she slept her way through? I don't get what you mean by probably f <laughs> This is not a, a good thing to say to um, a lady, but you know, he's a comedian. We don't know whether he's joking or not. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Moving on, like I said, so many people have things to say about this. Some people said it's tribalism. That the award is given based on where you are where you are from that the award favors the west than those from the eastern part of nigeria here's someone hearing our views about um the show last night they made it seem like a purely yoruba thing i'm sure they would have wailed non-stop had it been the reverse was the case not even fino flavor techno run down battle ranking p square neither rude boy nor mr p so who are all evils i'm also sure it was intentional we have to shun tribalism for the partiality for nigeria to move forward what do you guys think do you think the award was given based on where you are from in nigeria do you think that the jorobas or the guys from the western part of nigeria were being favored let me know your thoughts in the comment section all right there's still another person here who says that since you have fixed your winners then you shouldn't have released the voting page because all your dotted artists won the awards in various categories guys what is your take about this so that is it about edis award vector who was you know in a movie recently with sheishi lara and the beat movie speaking with saturday beats he says he was aroused because he kissed Shishi in the movie and said he was aroused while kissing in the movie. <laughs> Your parents believed in something different and I wanted to be a part of that. Uh, it is not, you know, easy to kiss passionately while on a movie set. <laughs> yeah, but some people will tell you, just take your mind out of it. Pretend like you, you know you're, you're doing nothing but it's quite hard i don't know how they do it though speaking with saturday beat he says shay shay and i had been friends for a while even before the movie but it, it wasn't awkward kissing her it takes a level of expertise to kiss someone and try your best to suppress your feelings while you do it especially with shay shay i won't deceive you i was aroused when i kissed her but i had to control myself it is all about the control i mean we are talking about she she she's beautiful uh yeah that was what he said he, they asked him that whether there is a possibility of a relationship between them and he says i'm not trying to predict the future but you would never know something could happen between us at this point Lara and the beach was an awesome project let us leave it at that for now seems like someone is crushing on she she or maybe they already have something going on they don't want us to know about it okay guys moving on to the next news congratulations to dj so say he removes his trademark face tattoo for his wedding and yeah it looks cool even without the the tattoo and i'm wondering how did he do it that would have been painful i think it's a permanent tattoo okay but congratulations to dj so say putin marco replies a fan who says if Tony if Tony no knock Toby she no go rest miss hot pants now some of you guys are wondering what is the meaning of knack knack is having sex okay when you have sex with someone
and Tonya Imako replies, imagine if we <laughs> if we no follow them play when I will say we proud. Okay, um <laughs> guys, that's that's very funny. Why Toby was in the house, yeah. Tonya Imako was a big fan, so not surprised. Here we have baby Doe, second baby mama Amanda says she's ready to have another baby she's not even ready to have like a wedding or marriage or ah but whatever works for you you know yeah who knows and that is it about davido's second baby mama amanda now this nigerian writer timeni calls out andre blaze andre blaze an oap and not just an oap is a big presenter right here in nigeria this lady says she was sexually assaulted by andre blaze andre blaze ensure sexually assaulted me two years ago that was two years ago the bbc interviewed both of us for a recent program about masculinity and its impact i informed the bbc about the assault and asked them to delete or edit that program they refused the bbc as she didn't really go deep into this what really happened okay she just says he sexually assaulted her and i don't really get the point here but i think the point okay i get the point she sexually he sexually assaulted her but there was no in-depth explanation about this she said the bbc has assured me that they are very sorry about the distress they are waiting a cost and also they and also that they will not be doing anything to mitigate it and the bliss and the blaze as far as i know continues to deny that he assaulted me despite there there being witnesses of the assault now there's another person she called out she called out pretty mike she said pretty mike has once raped her when she was 16 years old um she said why you all are here that raging misogynist pretty mike raped me near club q when i was 16 years old and i'm willing to bet every single naira that we ever earn that he doesn't even remember but that's a story for another day i'm off to watch Bechella. guys let me know everyone i've been talking about this online what is your take about this um she's right now saying that she's not getting support like you know from people though that wouldn't hold her back from speaking up pretty mike is the guy that has this chain around females the other time turning female to dog in real life i don't know whether this is true or not but this is what we're seeing online by this lady okay guys moving on to the next one still talking about you know sex young C's dj accused of patronizing sex workers according to reports without pain so here is the story by this sex worker a week ago i met dj timmy young sis dj at the club on the lagos island he approached and we discussed about how much he was going to pay me we went to his crib at his crib i did i did notice he was acting funny he later slept with me and by morning he drove to the atm saying he was not with cash and stuff when we got to the atm he was not able to get cash from the machine he then took me to the restaurant and left me there I can't be allowed to enter his estate until he calls the security for permission. I have a video and pictures I took when I noticed he was acting funny. I sent him a DM. He has been avoiding my DM. I want the world to know the kind of person he is. So guys, um, I don't know. We This girl has no face. Her face was not revealed. We are waiting for the videos and the evidence that you have to prove that this guy actually picked you up had sex with you and did not pay uh, we just need evidence you know this is just some kind of random post i would say all right here is whiskey now between whiskey and tiwa savage not just tiwa savage tanya T uh, whiskey x um looks like tanya and tiwa savage are having issues okay um recently she says that you cannot be friends with people who secretly want your life stay woke and funny enough the busybodies of social media went to check and discovered this, that this lady has unfollowed tiwa savage also tiwa savage on the other hand unfollows her i want to ask you this question do you think whiskey and tiwa savage are dating because this might be the problem people are saying for crying out loud you already dumped whiskey why are you jealous people think tanya was jealous and that's why she follows she unfollows to a savage and yeah she and tell savage they were cool for me i don't think something is going on 
some of them might be going on but i don't think so i i haven't you know grabbed it's very strong evidence okay so i cannot say they're actually dating but what is your own take on that here we have mr shah mr shah um says that he hasn't had sex with his doll and he gave us the reasons why he hasn't had sex with his dog he said he's had peace of mind having a sex dog beside him or as a companion <laughs> this is this is weird you know talking about something like this speaking to sunday scoop he says that my sex doll is a virgin i named her tonto because she's a very beautiful woman now i can have peace of mind and i can focus on my music um, here he talks about the intimacy. He says, I got a sex doll because I became tired of women. If I can spend five million on a doll, I must have spent more on a lady and nothing can come out of the relationship. I'm not in the relationship at the moment, but I was engaged last year. Um, the outcome of the union was the major reason I invested five, I invested, invested five million in a sex doll. I later found out that my two year old baby that was that's a, a very sad story my two-year-old baby wasn't mine wow you can imagine how i felt when i got to know that i was not the biological father of the baby girl i was taking care of wow some women can be heartless wow <laughs> okay guys you know there's a reason behind anything like this or someone is acting weird you know there's always a story behind it and that is the story like he's gone through like a massive heartbreak as well so i'm sorry mr shaw um yeah good luck with your door all right looks like um this lady juliet ibrahim and her boyfriend looks like they are no more yeah that's rumors and people are asking who don't pull juliet ibrahim according to reports deletes all the pictures of this guy on our page um after the ass grabbing and everything and that's how you guys are going to end it eh i'm even i'm hungry right now hey you just let me hold it there i don't i don't, I don't want to you know cause commotion right now this guy even said recently in his post icebox slim boss where is juliet now moving on to the next news which is going to be the last news of the day yet yeah, tonto says i miss being touched oh kissed and romanced passionately that is stone to kind out on social media but there's one thing she says but i'm enjoying being celibate <laughs> don't do who enjoys being celibate yeah you could enjoy being celibate but it's a struggle you know that yeah you you struggle with that i could understand what she's passing through right now guys that is the last news of the day and yeah don't forget to follow me on facebook twitter and instagram mixing crown btv thank you guys for watching until we see you next time peace